Hey girls, before we get hopping and scooting into the video, I wanted to take a second to introduce the sponsor of the day. It is a repeat offender. We now have another partnership with Balesa. Balesa is a company that is by women for all things sexual health, sexual pleasure. Balesa's overall mission is to encourage everybody, not just women, to embrace their sexuality and to explore and celebrate it as well. So today we've partnered up again with another offer for you guys. Balesa and I are sending out free vibrate and also gift cards to every single person who clicks my link down below. If you sign up for the giveaway, you will receive something. So there's nothing to miss out on. Before you do that, let me introduce a couple of our players to you that might be in the running for something you might want to get. This one's called the Thump. Really just the holy trinity of everything you would ever need. So it vibrates as well as suctions, as well as has this thumping technology. I can't describe it any other way. So the great thing about this is that you can use like two or more sensations at once. So it has the pleasure jet technology, which is the suction as well as the true feel vibration. This is also waterproof. So that's very rare to find that I feel like with like the suction-y parts. Similar but just as deadly is this one called the Pebble. So also is in a really cute pink carrying case. This one has that similar pleasure technology with the suction as well as vibration. So once again, you can have two for one. The great thing about this is it's just easy. It's small, it's ergonomic, and there's no annoying vibration patterns. So you could have everything you ever need with just this little bad boy or bad girl, I should say. And last but certainly not least is one of my favorites, which this one is the second iteration of the Air Vibe. So this is the Air Vibe Pro. These other two are more external, but if you're into anything that's G-spot stimulating, this one has G-spot stimulation and the same suction up top. So two for one. So you have dual stimulation. It's also waterproof. This one also has the added benefit of it has a remote <laughs> and all of these recharge in the case. So that's another really great added benefit of having those. Those are just three of many options that you could shop on Balesa. So once again, really encourage you to click that link down below and get that offer. Get a free vibrator or gift card. So thanks to Balesa and thanks to you for supporting it. That is all I have to talk about. Let's get into the video. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. It is about seven minutes before I need to leave for work. Let's see how this hair turned out. This is surprisingly comfortable to sleep in. It just looks crazy first thing in the morning. Doesn't it look great? <laughs> it's so ununiform. Why aren't you in uniform? That's how it turns out every time. At least on me. Anyway, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. I guarantee this is not gonna be a reading vlog because I doubt that that's gonna happen. Come along with me for the day. This is a Valentine's Day outfit. Don't love it, but I don't have to have to change. Okay, I have to leave in like 10 minutes if I want to get to work by 9.30, which is when my first call is. I forgot, I washed my makeup brushes last night. I don't really have any topics to discuss while I do my makeup. I'm just so tired right now like I can feel myself being like I don't want to talk I just want to go back to bed but today should be pretty easy I don't know let me check my calendar yeah I have a call at 9 30 two easy calls in the afternoon and one presentation to my boss so shouldn't be that bad I wish I was one of those girls who could wear concealer as foundation like just do a little dab but this is what I look like hey Rosacea Oh my god, I had a girl in, what grade was that, like middle school? I think she was well-intentioned, but she was like very bougie. We were 12, she wore like Chanel and was obsessed with name brands. And even now, like she lived in France and her parents are rich, whatever, class divide. But like every single day, she would ask me if I have rosacea in English class. And I was like, I don't know, maybe. And she always wanted to do my makeup, but then when she would do my makeup, it wouldn't cover up this. I don't know, I don't think it's affected me that much, but I do think of her often. Also, I still follow her on social media, I don't know why. I need to make a to-do to -do list for myself today, because I know for a fact when I get home, I need to get my blanket out of the dryer and put it in a bag so that I can drop it off at Goodwill. I bought Shelby a Valentine's Day present. I want to go drop it off to her and Goodwill's on the way and then Aldi's on the way home. So I desperately need groceries today. I did start using a planner a couple months ago and kind of fell off that train, but I need to get back into it because it actually was quite helpful. Even though it's confusing because 
a physical planner and my digital calendar really conflict and I need like one source of truth and it's a lot easier to use a digital calendar obviously because I have my phone all the time. I don't know, are any of y'all physical planner people? And if you are, do you keep a calendar on your phone or on your computer? Because part of me is just concerned that I would only use one or the other. Oh my gosh, my makeup looks crazy in the viewfinder. Also, this foundation I use is kind of crap, but I got it for free off of Facebook Marketplace. So I'm, I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> Even though it is so heavily scented and disgusting. Yesterday, the concealer around my pimples came off almost immediately into my day, which was not fun. So let's hope we get at least half an hour out of that. And then I don't feel like doing, I well, I don't have time to do eye makeup. What am I talking about? Most days I'm doing this, rushing off to work in like 10 minutes. So I rarely do eyeshadow anymore. Usually it's like foundation to cover up redness, mascara. And then Rosie joins me. Hi baby. Usually when I get ready, I would watch like a YouTube video or put on some music. I am big into the broski report right now. Also big into the basement yard. If you've seen clips of those on TikTok but haven't seen any of the full episodes, highly recommend. I'm also trying to catch up on a good mythical morning. That's always a good option. Hi, Rosie. Me do it. She's like, you don't vlog anymore. What's this? Music wise, I'm gonna be honest, the only thing I have been listening to lately is the Eras Tour live from LA. People on Spotify uploaded them as podcasts, so even though it's not officially released, someone just took the movie audios and put them on. And I have had those on a repeat. Which part of me is a little bit fearful because I am so obsessed with them right now that I'm scared when she actually drops the live album that I'll be like, oh, I've listened to this so much already, I'm kind of sick of it. And I'm a little bit sad because Anytime I would hear the intro of the show, it would give me the craziest goosebumps. Like I just get so transported back to seeing it live. And now I feel like I'm getting a little bit used to it. And I'm like, no, I have to stop listening to the very first one. Cause I need to have that feeling of like, oh my God. I feel like I'm in the crowd again and the anticipation is like making my heart stutter. I think about when I saw Taylor Swift, like, six times a day. My coworkers are trying to convince me to go overseas and see another show. And like, I really want to. I actually, granted I was on my period, but I cried the other day in my car thinking about how badly I missed going to a show. But I spent like $2,000 last year on tickets and accommodations. And I went to three stops. And I have this weird like ethical thing of, am I taking away a seat from someone in that country if I go to another country to see it? So I just I just don't think I can do it. Okay, it's 8.50, I really have to go. Otherwise, I'm not gonna make it to my 9.30 meeting. The only thing I wanna do right now is stay home and edit a vlog, but alas, the shareholders must be pleased. Oh, I'm so hungry and I didn't pack anything for breakfast. Oh well. Okay, I'm leaving my camera at home, so see you on my phone. Today was okay, I cried on the way home. Overall, the day was fine, but my last meeting of the day was kinda brutal. Ow. Oh my god. I'm in the mood where like anything could set me off. I just hit my knee. <sighs> I'm gonna go for a walk. Probably add a little jog. Tonight I need to go see Shelby because we have a Valentine's Day gift exchange. I was just gonna leave it on her door, but she told me that she had something for me, so I'll probably knock now. Why am I in the dark? Let me go out here. So time will decide whether or not I go to Aldi tonight. Also, my feet are really dry and I could feel the texture of them going into my sock and did not like that, almost set me off, but I'm gonna smile through the pain. And the more I sit here, the more I do not wanna go for a walk. <sighs> Dropped my towel on the ground, that almost set me off. Need to blow my nose. That's gonna set me off. I don't know exactly what day of my period I'm on, but it's the one that makes you insufferable. Okay, you're gonna have to deal with Gordo singing in the background because I'm gonna about, huh? I'm about to do their breakfast. Or, uh, Gordo, what day is it? I'm gonna do their dinner. My to-do list for tonight is a little bit wishful thinking. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna go on my walk. I'm gonna try and get out all my TikToking, mindless scrolling, and everything else while I'm on my walk. Maybe that has to be my life hack. I have to drop Shelby's present off. 
But then I have a couple things I need to do around the house. Like I have a sponsor that I need to like do some stuff for. I have to browse their products and see what I want to try for an upcoming video, which I know is such a terrible task. No, it's going to be fun. I also need to order Bonnie, my other best friend, some cookies because she lives up in Wisconsin and I want her to feel the love today still. Hopefully Crumble doesn't close at like six. If so, I'm fucked. And then I have stuff to do around the house. Like my cat's water bowl needed a new filter. So I got that and I have to deep clean their water dispenser. I really need to do laundry. Like I just feel like I have so much to do. And I also want to watch Valentine's Day, the movie tonight and make like a frozen pizza or something easy. I feel like I won't have time to do that. In my head, the day ends at like 9 p.m. So I'm like, well, no time to do anything. What flavor of broth do you want? Okay. Oh, how about salmon? Let's fill it up with some extra water so you're hydrated. So yeah, if you're wondering why I don't post reading vlogs, it's cause what, at what point in my day tonight am I gonna read? Part of me is tempted to ask my coworkers if they wanna do a reading club at like lunchtime. Cause every day at lunch we just shoot the shit for an hour and I feel like that could be opportunity of reading time. One of the things on my list is to put away my dishes. So I'm doing that before I go. And am I doing it to procrastinate going on a walk? Maybe. This pan is still sticky. What did I do in a past life to deserve this? Saving that for after the walk. Okay. Oh shoot, I forgot to give Sharpie his medicine. He has medicine he needs. Frick, okay. Well, he gets his pill first. Oh, he's gonna be full. He's not gonna want it. It's a treat. Why wouldn't he want it? Okay. He's eating it. Now he's gonna hate me because syringe. He's been good about it the past couple days. On day one, he freaked his shit. He'll be upset, but then right after he'll have a cookie. And he isn't even resisting me that bad when I give it to him. It's like human medicine. It's cherry flavored. It's like a fourth of a teaspoon. I don't want to interrupt his dinner, but I think I have to. Okay, he ran away, so maybe he's not as chill as I thought, but medicine is delivered. I need to find my headphones, then I'll go for my walk. Oh my gosh, my face is like an iron. It's so hot. I didn't record me on my walk because Shelby FaceTimed me and she talked to me the whole time, but then also I feel bad because I feel like this person still follows me, but I've had someone before recognize my apartment building just from the little that I've shown it, so now I'm like extra concerned <laughs> that where I live is kind of recognizable, so it sucks because I want to show me like being on a walk and doing that because it's such a big feat for me to want to do a walk and I want to like show off like oh my gosh it's fun it's pretty but then the pretty is where I live anyway I just sat here for a couple minutes after which I hate going on a walk then immediately coming home and sitting down because then I feel like I lose the momentum but I jogged for several portions of that and I'm so out of shape that I'm like dizzy it's so exhausting to exercise as a big person and I know doing it more helps, which is the big oxymoron of it, but it's so discouraging and thank God Shelby was still on the phone with me because I just wanted to cry. Another reason I wanted to cry is I ordered cookies for Bonnie for Valentine's Day. I called the store to change the address and the DoorDasher called me and said, it's not the same address that was originally there. And I was like, I know. So I feel like I just inconvenienced this DoorDasher because they literally just wrote it on a piece of paper and handed it to him instead of changing it. This whole vlog I've been like this happened and it's about to set me off. This happened and it's about to set me off and it's one thing after another. I'm gonna go hop in my car and go visit Shelby and give her her present. That's her balloon in the background. My goal is to go drop off stuff, go see Shelby, get home, make a pizza, watch a movie. I need to shower at some point during that. I need to clean my kitchen at some point during that. To exist is to suffer. Like I feel like I have no time to do anything, but let's go. Okay, I didn't record at Shelby's because I didn't want to show her front porch, but she had gotten me literally almost the exact same thing I got her, which is so funny. We each got each other, not one, but three boxes of cookie dough bites. She got me some bookmarks, a keychain, a sticker, some cat, T-R-E-A-T-S, a candle, some socks. <sighs> I'm gonna have a good night, okay. Also, was gonna go to Goodwill on the way there, and Goodwill is closed and doesn't accept donations after closing. Rude. Uh, okay, I did my walk. I did my drop off. Tried to go to Goodwill and it didn't work, so I'm still gonna cross it off. I ordered cookies for Bonnie. That was a whole hubbubaloo. Oh, I didn't go to Aldi. I need to do the cat water. I did Sharpie's medicine. I need to scoop the cat litter, clean the cat water, and then eat dinner and watch my movie. So I think I'm gonna do my two cleaning tasks, put the pizza in the oven, go shower, get the pizza out the oven, watch my movie. That's the plan for the night. I stressed out about that so bad. <laughs>
Hello, it's Thursday. I'm home from work. I didn't record any at all today, I don't think. Still glistening from walking up the stairs, not once but twice, because I did a grocery shop. Usually when I buy a lot of groceries, I will struggle and take them up in one go and then be mad and miserable and hot and sweaty for like 20 minutes. Or I have a grocery cart, which takes three times as long. Today I was like, why am I being lazy? Just do two trips. So I did two trips. That feels like it goes against my constitution to do things like that, but we made it. Anyway, who cares for a grocery haul? I call these Aldi Haldies. <laughs> Please pardon, the kitties are eating right now. The kitties just being the boys, because Rosie is dainty and small. Anyway, first I got eggs, because I'm out, which was embarrassing when I tried to make banana bread last week. What's in here? It's gonna be like an unboxing. I got some broccoli. This just reminded me of Almond Joy, and it made it sound healthy on the box. I don't even know. I just need like healthier sweet treat options. Speaking of chocolate almonds, I got a lot of chocolate, okay? You're gonna have to forgive that. Actually, I'm not apologizing. Why do you care? I couldn't find any good bananas, so I just grabbed these three. Oh, there's another one somewhere else in this haul, but Aldi has their chai concentrate back. I don't know why they call it chai tea latte. That's really embarrassing for them. These are so good, and it's like twice the size they were last year, so I grabbed two of them. Even though I have chai, I could just make my own to concentrate with, but I don't know how. Oh, I got a tissue box for work. Oh, I have some freezer marinated chicken. So I got some naan to go with it. Got four cans of tuna, some dried mango for snack, and this massive bag of Cajun trail mix. This was like four bucks for all that, it was crazy. Before I went to Aldi, I went to Pet Supplies Plus, which is my new favorite place, because I needed more broths for them, and this was like $5 off. All right, refrigerated bag. This is hard to do with one hand, haha. Uh -huh. I have leftover pizza, so I'm gonna have it with a salad tonight. There's another one of these somewhere, but I got sliced mushrooms for a pasta I'm gonna make, raspberries for breakfast, peppers for meals and for breakfasts and snack, three kinds of cheeses for dinners that I'm making, baby carrots for snacking, parmesan for pasta, sour cream for a recipe, I forget which one, romaine for lunches. Heavy cream, which I always use like a little bit of then freeze the rest, which is the greatest life hack. Some cottage cheese. Honestly, the cottage cheese at Aldi kind of tastes like ass. Maybe it's because I get the low fat one, but it's very sour. Let's see if this is a good batch or not. These are some thick chicken breasts. For here, we got some spinach for omelets, kiwi for snacking. I think they're in season right now. Gotta move my cat's prescription. He didn't eat his treat with the pill in it, now I'm worried. Anyway, here's the other mushrooms. Got banana chips for snacking. Two kinds of chickpea pasta, just for future use. These are my favorite and they're so addicting. These are technically a granola bar, but I call them dessert. It's dipped in peanut butter and chocolate. Oh, I got some salmon. I love making salmon patties with these for dinners. Gorgeous like salmon. Got pistachios for snack. Again with the chocolate, but pomegranate seeds. Another box of tissues. Two kinds of tortillas. There's the first one. We got corn. Oh, here's the other chai tea. Nope, chai latte. <laughs> Some beef broth. Honey crisp apples, the only kind that is worth buying. Diced tomatoes with peppers. Can of corn. Protein granola. I've never tried that before, but I have yogurt in my fridge to eat it with. I get pretzels as a snack a lot because pretzels aren't something I ever want to eat an entire bag of in one sitting. <laughs> so I thought maybe the pub style will be dangerous, but that's just for a couple handfuls. Here we go. Here's my flour tortillas. Got some queso for some crock pot chicken. Salsa, either to eat with chips or to put with my eggs. I usually don't like Aldi string cheese, so I'm gonna try their organic one and see if that one's better. The regular ones taste like nothing. And then I was gonna get chicken apple sausage and saw they now make chicken breakfast sausage, so I'm gonna try that. And then good old loaf of bread. Absolutely massive haul. I love Aldi so much. I paid $149 for all of this. And not to get emo as I start to put stuff away, but I remember I walked into the store and the pistachios were the first thing I picked up and I was like, mm, it's gonna be more to buy them in the individual packets instead of getting like shelled ones all in one thing. But financially, I've been doing so much better lately that within 10 seconds of walking in the store, I was like, don't look at prices. Just get what you look at and what you think you're gonna like and buy it. 
so I did. And I haven't grocery shopped that way in a long time where I don't look at the prices. YouTube is definitely a big factor in why I'm getting back on my financial grounding or feet, whatever. Also, this is the outfit I wore today with like a leather jacket and this is such a crop top that I was like, hee 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 all day. But I love this shirt. I found it for like $3 at the thrift store. Has it been out of focus this whole time? Wow. Okay, well Sharpie didn't want to take his pill earlier, so I'm gonna try and trick him and give him the ones that he likes and then slip this one. See if I'll fall for it. He and Gordo do tricks, so I guess now is the time to show you. You want cookies? Oh, we love cookies. Good boys. And before y'all tell me that I'm excluding Rosie, she literally does not eat cat treats. She's acting like she wants to, but she won't. You first have to give them one so they know it's a treat that they like. Here's him. And Rosie, you look so pitiful. Do you want one? Exactly, she never does. Ready, here's their trick. Word already? High five! Good boy! You have a good high five. Oh, you're ready. He's so good. Ready? High five! Good boy! Should we do your other trick? Come here. Can you spin? Uh -huh. Good spin! What about you? Can you spin? Good spin! Now it's time for the counterfeit treat. High five. Good boy! You want this one? Uh-oh. Please eat it. Please eat it. Okay, well, Sharpie's not eating pill pockets anymore, so I had to crush up one of his favorite treats and hide it there. Hopefully it doesn't ruin his favorite treats for him. It's time for the dreaded medicine. Finished my walk slash jog on day two. I'm recording this because I have no idea if I'll look back on this and want to know what I was thinking, but the first 10 or 20 minutes when I'm home after a walk is brutal. Like, I just sit here, I'm hot, my AC hasn't kicked on yet. I'm so sore, like, every time I move, I ache. And all I want to do is cry. Like, I know people talk about when you work out, you get good endorphins from it, but like, I'm dizzy right now. My face temperature, I'm sure if I took it, is like, feels like 110. I did run farther than I did yesterday, which I don't know if that's because I could have pushed myself yesterday and didn't, or if I actually improved that fast in just a single day, probably not. What kills me is people just wake up and do this every day. They're like, oh, 6 a.m., time to go work out. And for normal people, it's just a workout, but for me, it's like, I literally need this decompression time for like 20 minutes to just like sit and drink my water and convince myself not to cry right now, because I'm like, it's gonna get better. It's just really hard right now. Every day, I've just become more and more aware that I care so much what people think about me. At work, it's really bad. I notice on walks it's really bad. Like I try and quiet my breathing when I walk past people. I won't jog when I'm near people. I find empty parts of the trail to do it. But then there's also an element of hope that I realized today. Like the whole reason I'm doing this is because I want I don't know if I've talked about this in this vlog, but I want to be able to sit comfortably in airplanes. I have four work trips coming up this year that I know of. And for the first time, I'm kind of hopeful about them. Like I'm looking forward to them instead of dreading them. You know, even when I was at my biggest weight, I still looked forward to trips. Like I like traveling, but it's just the getting there process is so rough. I've noticed that part of getting into this routine has also made me think different about like, oh, well maybe you can look forward to that because in two months, who knows? where we'll be. One thing is I don't own a scale. I'm already tempted to weigh myself even though it's been like two days and yesterday was Valentine's Day and I did eat like three entire boxes of candy. I still got work to do but there is one of those like old school like adjust the weight with the weight bar scales downstairs. I'll have to go check and I don't know how accurate it is but I could weigh myself there like once a month if I wanted to but I haven't really noticed anything differently physically. I've noticed that Walking up staircases, I'm less winded, but you know, my favorite outfits are still tight, so I know there hasn't been too much work there. Anyway, but I'm on like day f two of being consistent, so I don't know why I'm expecting results. But I just needed a distraction because these next few minutes of like sitting around after having gone for a run are brutal. Thanks for listening. <laughs>